Hey what's up guys, welcome back to Mr3D, hope you're doing well. So in this video we are going to take a look at Urbaniac CD Assets Pack, made available by Mason Patriso. The pack comes with all sorts of high quality CD assets which you can use to make your renders stand out. And that is what you're gonna see in this video. So if you would like to get this add-on, you can simply go over to the link in the description, from there you can grab it. Before I show you how you can work with it, here's a quick overview of what you will be getting in the Lite and Pro version. With Pro version you get 180 plus photoreal 3D assets, more assets in the future updates. And the Lite version gives you 90 assets only with add-on bug fixes in the updates. Choose whichever you like, you can always upgrade later. So with that being said, let's get straight into the blender and get practical with it. So with blender simply open here, all you have to do is go over to edit preferences and install the add-on that you have downloaded from blender market. Once you install it, delete everything in your scene and then press N on your keyboard and you can see that we have a new panel right here. Click on it, we have few options to choose from. The first one is that you can search any asset from the library by typing the asset name. And secondly, we have categories. So you can choose different kinds of categories of the assets that you want to import. Vehicles and vegetation is not included in this pack. But if you would like to get them, then you can take a look at vegetation and transportation add-on from B Production, which is also linked down in the description below. They make very high quality assets. So let's say you want uh, some buildings. You can go over to the buildings assets category. Here you have all these buildings. Here you can see that we have a wrench icon. So that means this building is semi-procedural, means you can edit the floor count, you can edit the depth, you can also edit the width of the building as well. Same with both of these. And if you want almost all sorts of buildings, you have to take a look at Urbaniac Buildings Generator. With it, you can generate realistic buildings with outstanding interiors. Link is in the description. So select any building you want to import. So currently I'm gonna go with this one. Then click on append. It has appended the building right in the middle of the 3D view. So if you want to import it somewhere right here, then you have to hold on shift and right click. You can see that we have the 3D cursor right over here. And then click on add origin and this will turn to add cursor. So whenever you click import, it's gonna import that building right where the cursor is. Let's just move it up right here. Now what you gotta do is, you gotta find some sidewalks. So here is the sidewalks category. You can select any of the sidewalks from here. And let's say I want uh, this one. Here you go, select it and just click on append. And it's gonna import wherever the 3D cursor is. But I don't want it here. So I'm gonna press Alt G and it's gonna reset the location of the sidewalk. Now I can just move it a bit up like this and I'm gonna rotate it. You have to place all the things that you import in the right place and in the right order. Imagine how much time you will be saving with these high quality pre-made assets. Each asset will take you around 1 to 10 hours depending on the complexity of the asset. I will also show you the resolution of the textures that you will be getting with the add-on and to be honest, these are really really high quality assets. So right now I'm gonna create a street. Here you can see that we have the street and now we want some roads as well. So if I go over to the asphalt category, you can see that we also have a second category. From here you can choose details and the details contain some potholes that you can put on the road. And then we have elevated highways, we have uh, highways and then we have streets. So from the streets I want this one, let's go with this. Click on append and not add the cursor, I want it at the world origin. So once you append it, just rotate it like so and place it wherever you want it to be. So mine will be right here, Alt D, duplicate, move it right over here. I'm gonna go over to the rendered view, but before that I'm gonna save the project file. I won't lose my progress in case Blender crashes. Now we need a HDRI in our scene. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go over to Asset Browser. Select Polyhaven and you might not have this but if you want to get this Polyhaven Asset Browser add-on you can go over to the link in the description from there you can get it. These are 100% free HDRIs and this add-on downloads all of the assets directly from Blender which is the best way and this also organizes your assets. It also includes textures, models and HDRIs. There are thousands of them. Go check them out. The one I'm gonna use is this one. Let's add it to the scene. And here you can see the lighting as well. With interiors, 
So I'm gonna turn on denoising actually. These are really, really high quality buildings, but not the buildings are high quality. Every single asset is high quality. Now I'm gonna add some more stuff like uh, electrical assets. You can go ahead and add a street light and to the point where the cursor is, of course, here is the street light. Then I'm gonna add some garbage assets like dustbin. Then I'm also gonna choose garbage bag right over here. Move it at the side and you can see the quality of the dustbin. We have billboard assets. Man, that's awesome. There are a lot of them. I'm gonna import one right here. And here you can see that it's here. You can change the images and customize them to your likings. We have public transports in which we have bus stop, railway crossing barriers and subway entrance as well. So I'm gonna add a bus stop. I shouldn't add this but to show you the quality of the assets, I'm gonna add few of them. But I won't go through all of the assets. So let's just click on scene config and uh, you can enable the snow like so which will make your street look snowy. We have wet surfaces as well which will make everything look like it was raining. Then we have raindrops. You can enable them and take a look at any of the asset and you can find raindrops right over here which is pretty cool. Then we have lights intensity lights of buildings and street lights so we can only see them when it's night so i'm gonna turn off my hdri for that to work which is going to be this here you can see all the lights and the interiors of the buildings we can add potholes as i've mentioned before i'm gonna go over to details take a look at the potholes and just move your cursors right over here append it and you can see that we have potholes right here and you can just move them however you like let's say you want to move them here perfect more potholes will be added in the future so i'm gonna go ahead and just uh, turn down the snow and here you can see the potholes i haven't said correct lighting so you will see a bit of fakiness in the scene and here you can see the potholes i'm gonna play a time lapse video in which we will create the city with this add-on only So that's been it. Again, all the links are in the description. You can take a look at them. If you enjoyed this video, then you will probably really enjoy this one. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. And of course, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you won't miss any of my future uploads. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.